Hi YouTube family, welcome back to Island Decor by Keisha. In today's episode, I will be sharing with you how I style a shelf that I recently acquired. Now, it's been a minute since I have not been on YouTube. Um, I've taken a long enough break, I feel. So now I'm back, I will try my best to upload one video per week and maybe in the future I will increase it gradually. So in today's video, we are going to be doing shelf styling. If you love decorating like myself, if you like to change up your space, make it look crisp and new, then you're in the right place. Go ahead, click the subscribe button, turn your notification bells on, that way you will receive a notification whenever I upload new videos and you will also be first to see them. All right, and don't forget to give your girls a thumb, thumbs up if you love this video. All right, so without further ado, we're going to go through the pieces that I have that I'm going to use to style up this shelf. Now, this is the shelf that I'm, um, let me go on this side. This is the shelf that I am referring to. I painted it white and I absolutely love, love, love the way it turns out. Um, the pieces that I'm going to be using in the decorating process will be mostly black because I... I want to create a contrast that's what I'm going for a black and white contrast and I think I really love it and you will too so let's go ahead and get started and as I go along I will talk to you about um, where I got each of the pieces that we're going to be used using in the styling process so let's go ahead and get started so the first piece that I want to share with you guys is this piece of artwork. Isn't this lovely? I absolutely love this piece of artwork. And to know, and to know, I got this at Ross. And it's extremely heavy. It's heavy. It's not lightweight as something cheap. It is cheap, but it has an expensive look, if that makes sense but it's a great quality as well. If you look at the back, it's kind of a piece of velvet material. If you, you know, it's very wooden here. So guys, I encourage you to shop around. Don't just, you know, go to the expensive places, look at what they have and then shop around to find pieces that look familiar or similar to what they have. So this is from Ross and I had paid $29 for this. Um, I bought this a few months ago. I was trying to find something for my room. I thought about um, DIYing two pieces of artwork. I bought the frames from the um, thrift store and I just didn't go along with it. So um, I found this piece during that time and I bought it thinking that I would find another piece maybe like a week after or two weeks after couldn't find it but I love it so much I decided to keep it so this is the first piece that we are going to use on our shelf all right so let's go ahead and put this piece all right so I decided to put it at the extreme top because I want to create, I want it to look higher than it really is. You know, it, it makes the space look bigger and that's why I decided to put it up here. All right, to go along with that, I am going to use these two candlesticks. Now these are from Home Goods. They're old, the price tags are still on here, $9 and $12. Now these are from Home Goods. They were originally in silver and I decided to spray paint them gold. And I love the way they turned out. There's so much you can do with a little spray paint. Guys, if you see something that you love, go ahead and grab it. As long as it's able to be spray painted, if you wanna spray paint it white, if you wanna spray paint it black, whatever color you wanna spray paint it, you can do that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead with these two candlesticks. And we're gonna put them on either side, right here. Right? And to create even further 
height i'm going to add these two black candlesticks and i got these from tj maxx last week it was last week i wanted black candles and i went into tj maxx and i found these two for three dollars and 99 i think it was and i grabbed them so i'm going to put these two pieces of candle in the candle holder right here There we have it, and I absolutely love the way it looks thus far. Now to create a little bit of balance. So we already have height here. So now we're gonna create some balance with this vase. And guys, it's so funny. You know, sometimes when I go, you know, looking around in these stores, I don't, I don't necessarily go with the intention to buy. And, but sometimes when I go, I will find something that's reasonable, that's within my budget, and it looks good. So this was one of those pieces. I went into Marshalls and I was walking around and I found this, this um, vase. And it was only $7.99. I don't know if you can see it, but it was only $7.99. And I thought it was a great quality piece, so I decided to grab it. So this too is old, it's not new. I've had it from, for a while. I'm going to place it right here to create balance, right? And I absolutely love the way that turns out. Now, the next piece of decor that we are going to use is this floral arrangement from um, Ikea. This is from Ikea. They always have them. I bought mine like maybe three, three years ago. It's been a while. I don't remember. But I have this floral arrangement that I'm going to use. I really, really love it. Uh, it's, it's, it's a mixture of, um, what do you call this one again? The fern and the olives and whatever else it is. I'm not sure. This is not olive. I don't remember. But I'm just saying that you can find affordable decor pieces that you can use in your space. So this is from Ikea, and I'm not going to place it in the vase. I'm just going to lay it down right there. Right there. Right? All right. Then on this shelf, we're going to go in with this bowl. Now, there's a story behind this bowl, guys. This bowl I got from Home Goods, and it is $34.99. Let me see if I can, if you can see, $34.99. But you do know that Pottery Barn has a, um, a bowl just like this. It looks just like this. The bigger size is like this. It's a little bit heavier, but it is so, so similar. So I grabbed this. It was originally in a gray stone, and I, I didn't like that. So I... Went ahead, spray painted with the Rust-Oleum black paint, and then I also used the Rust-Oleum matte finish to finish it. So it's not going anywhere, right? So I absolutely love this bowl, and now I'm gonna put this one on the second shelf, right there. Now. The next piece that we are going to use is this garland. It's very heavy. Now, I saw, I saw this garland on the Pottery Barn website. I had no idea this thing was so huge. I went to the Pottery Barn store and I saw it in person and I realized that it was so big. I really, really loved it. But... I wasn't prepared to pay that price for it. Um, so I left it. I said, mm, nope, I'm not going to do that. I think it was like 140 something. It was $149, somewhere above. And I said, oh no, I will not be doing that. I left, took it off my mind. So I was on the Pottery Barn website again. And I saw that the price was reduced to one, $109. dollars 
And I said, I am not doing that. <laughs> I said, this is just not within my budget. So I left it alone. And then I got an email that the, the um that the piece uh I was looking at, you know, reduced. And when I went on there, it was $49. And I said, okay, I can do that. And I went ahead and purchased this piece. Now it is still a splurge for me, guys. I, I, I'm a cheapie. I, I just, I'm just a cheapie. And I, I really don't think that, you know, I should spend a lot of money. But I love to have the best things. The most beautiful things I like. So I went ahead and I grabbed this piece. And what I like about this is that it's heavy, it's good quality, and I will have this for a lifetime, for a long time. And that is really what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get pieces that are durable, that are neutral, and that can I can include them in whatever else decor I have. So this is it, and I'm just gonna put it in the bowl. And then I'm just gonna drape it down at the side. Love the way it turns out. So that is second shell. Let me draw, draw you guys a little closer so you can see it better. Right? And then for the next shelf, we're going to go in with this vase I also got from Marshalls. I got this vase from Marshalls. The price tag is not on there, but it was it was between I think $12.99 and $16.99. I got this a while back too. And it was it was in a terracotta color that I didn't like. And I spray painted it black. The florals are from um, IKEA. Alright, so I'm gonna place it right there. Now I could I could have I could have put this vase on the other side over here but because i already have this on that side i decided to go on this side right now the next thing that we are going to use are these rh magazine i love that they are black and white and they tie right into my decor and i got these for free this is a nice way that you can include magazines in your decorating um i know i am never going to have one of those um black books but i'm okay with that because i'm i i don't plan to spend that much on it so in the meantime i'm going to go ahead and put these rh magazine right here and then i do have a third one but for this one i am going to open it to one of the pages that matches my color scheme that i'm going with and i'm just going to place it on there open it like that right that is what i call free decorating decor free decor all right and then i'm gonna go in with my knot and i have this i don't remember how long i have it but i spray painted spray painted it myself it wasn't this color and i spray painted it myself so i'm just gonna go ahead and lay it down right there and that is it for that um shell now we have one last one to go so, you, I wanted to put something on here that is going to soften it up a little bit, you know? And so I decided to go in with my fur fur pillow. This is a, a pillow I got from Ikea a while back. It's been a while back I got this pillow from Ikea. And I'm going to go ahead and add it right here. Just, just to, to create some softness to it. And then I got this piece from Ross too. And this was 
12.99 from Ross. I'm gonna go ahead and put it right here. And last but not least, I have my Gardena scent that I got from Amazon. Very nice, smells so good. I'm gonna put this right here. Oh, sorry guys, let me back you up a little bit so you can see all of that. And then I have this one last piece that I'm going to put and it's a candle snuffer. I got, got it from Amazon, it was $12. I got this just maybe three days ago. It was $12. And I'm going to get the other one. I really love it. So I'm going to add my candle snuffer. I'm just going to place it right there. Right there. So guys, this is the end of our shelf styling. And I absolutely love the way it turns out. If you love the way this shell turned out, please go ahead and click the subscribe button and turn your notification bell on. Give your girl a thumbs up and don't forget to come back to see how I style up the other matching shell because I have two of them. All right, so guys, bye for now and don't forget to give your girls a thumbs up.